There's always homeless people outside McDonald's. And I'm like, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't do it. Don't make a direct eye contact. Oh, chicken fries. Hi, can I please get a cheeseburger deluxe combo? Yeah, Coke, you drink. Can I get a McCafe hot chocolate instead? Yeah, full cream milk. Um, soy please. And can I also get the chicken McBites? Yeah. That's everything. Fifteen dollars actually. I thought it would be fifteen dollars, and then I transferred twenty because I was scared that it was would be like that. Can you tell my anxiety time? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. This is going so fast. Is my food coming? Hi. Thank you. This is easy. Yeah. Thank you. Good day. See. And chicken McBites. Oh my god, I am treating myself. I'm doing 75 hard. Fuck, I'm gonna have to go past the homeless people working and try not my eye contact. It's just so awkward. I'm like, <laughs> I'm at the beach. I'm currently looking at some beautiful water, flowers, but also a cart full of pillows. And I got some McDonald's. I think they upgraded me because this is not a regular. Oh my god, I got a subscription e voucher. I got some chicken bites. I don't like the chicken from Macca's, but these look like popcorn chicken. Please be good. I also got food poisoning. It smells like KFC popcorn chicken. I mean, this shit isn't even chicken, probably. My favorite burger. Oh my god, what did they do to her? I feel sane again. Mmm. Mmm. They put extra extra sauce. I really want a soft drink now. Fuck. I'm trying to be healthy. I'm trying to be healthy. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I think I'm overdoing it, but this is how I feel. Give me a car. Actually, I don't want a new car. Give me money. Floor lamp and accessories. Maybe I was hungry. I'm really like invested in this. Someone's reading the book in their car. God, I can't stop shoving shit in my mouth. I'm doing 75 soft and I've been doing it for two weeks now. The reason why I can eat this is because my diet is 80% healthy, 20% not healthy. I don't really know what to call that yet. And I've been doing really good. I've been having like HelloFresh for dinners. It's really helped a lot. Next week, uh, it's all on my own because my HelloFresh. The discount that they gave me is running out and I don't want to pay full price for HelloFresh, so. I love it, but not that much. I meat prep, meat, what? What did he say? What? I meal prep dinners, kind of do a bulk of one meal and that lasts me during the week. So then that makes it easier, but I have to always make sure that that meal is good and yum and something I'm willing to eat for the whole week. Why do I just choose so like, I don't know how else to describe it. No. <laughs> My rules, I've kind of made them, so I just kind of am getting better habits. 80-20 for my nutrition, exercising five times a week, which is going pretty good because I find like two days rest, it's definitely like bumped it up because normally I'd like gym. It'd be different each way, like three to five times a week. I'm reading a book every day. I have to admit, I have missed some days with that, but the majority of the days I have gotten a book in before I get to sleep, which really helps my sleep. I'm just trying to get as much sleep as possible because there was a time where I was just not getting decent sleep like every single day. And I feel for so many, like whoever is going through that at the moment, or if you just have like sleeping problems, my heart goes out to you, but try and build a better habit and a better routine and eat healthy and exercise i like do all the stuff that they tell us to do but no one actually does like every single day like you'll do it like i don't know for a week or something but you're not going to do that every single day for the rest of your life like so that definitely helped me <laughs> but there's also some nights where you just can't sleep that like you do everything right and it just doesn't happen that's when you take out your vibrator <laughs> you take out your vibrator and you heal naturally that way and then also i'm drinking like two liters of water each day this is kind of peaceful everyone's like in their cars by themselves eating and a lot of people like reading and stuff and i'm like mm -hmm. so this is kind of my last hurrah for fast food for six weeks for my six week challenge there's not really rules as such but you do get points and that's how you kind of win so you get points for like visiting the gym doing the workout and then your map 
points. You wear like this belt and it tracks your heart rate. And then I think it's like extra points for doing like workout classes. And then did a body scan. And I mean, the results were good from last time I did it. I think it's been four months. The first two times I did it, there was such a big progression. But then the second and third time, there's still progression, but it's not as big as like the first two. My next one's going to only be a month and one week apart, which I feel like if nothing changes or if my body gets worse instead of better over those six weeks, I'm going to be like, what the fuck went wrong here? There's points for like gaining muscle mass and losing weight. I don't think I really lose weight, but I'll lose body fat percentage. To be honest, I'm kind of scared. I'm like, I've never done an intense challenge like this and I am going to go hard on myself because it's only six weeks. But this is what pushing yourself looks like. An ordinary person isn't going to win. Someone extraordinary. I totally got that word from Grey's Anatomy. Just someone that's literally going to push the boundaries. Trust in the universe. I'm reading this book about like, our brain and the way we think in like neuroscience and it's so, so interesting. So this guy had a fear of public speaking. But he was like a CEO and, and it was like this type of therapy that I think it's incon, incon, cognitive, cognitive, going back to like your childhood when the memory, like the fear started. So I think when he was like a young boy, the stranger said like yelled at him and said he like talked too much. Is that more to the story? But he, this is the gist though, right? This is the gist. Something happened when he was like six. His favorite teacher like he had like a stutter and he was presenting something and he was he really liked this teacher and so he presented it thinking the teacher would be so proud of him and everything but then the teacher was, ended up just laughing in the back was stuttering over the story and stuff which is like fucking shh as a teacher learning that's where the fear of public speaking comes from when he was like a young boy and realizing that time has passed you're not that five-year-old anymore going back into that memory and realizing there's no danger anymore putting that memory to rest kind of and then like the fear of public speaking gets easier because that's where the fear comes from and it's just oh my that was literally the f like the third page and i was like oh, my life's been changed i have so many fears and like just like the way i think and stuff and i'm like where's this all coming from like what bit of my childhood everyone's got shit going on and then little head and that's how they react oh. that's how they react to things happening like me dropping my shit i reckon i'm gonna sleep so good tonight oh my god i've got mascara on i can't be doing that never mind i'm a female that's kind of the updates of what's really going on in my life at the moment i think that the six week challenge is kind of the perfect time because I'm, I'm two weeks into 75 soft and it's going to be in the middle of 75 soft and like i've been going pretty good pretty hard for 75 soft i've already kind of built the habits so now it's just increasing them a little bit and it's like right before summer feeling good having like the best habits being in the best shape of my life i'm so here for it like I'm not feeling what I felt this time last year in a bikini. I'm not doing that. I'm not getting in that fucking, I was just in such a bad headspace. And it was like the era of my breakup, my life was changing. It was my first time being single in my city that I'm in now. I'm, I'm I think I made eye contact with someone that's in a camper van and that's staring at me. During my six week challenge, I have three events to go to three drinking events which two are day drinking so it's not too bad i can at least get a good late night's sleep and still work out and try and not hung over eat too much those chicken bites aren't as good as i hoped to. Now, that was McDonald's. That was dinner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just chatting in my car. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out my other videos. This dude coming outside. Good. It's, ta it's time to leave. It's time to fucking go. Bye, Mr. Caravan. You're kind of creepy.